Hi friends, Misty here with Shabby Beautiful Scrapbooking. It has been a really long time since I've done a video or even a project. Like many of you, I'm sure summer is crazy time, kids home and all that kind of thing. And um, it's been fun crazy, but it's been crazy. But anyway, I was able to get a project done and a new digital class sheet. Oh, I don't think I have a class sheet here to show you, but there's a picture of it on my blog. So um, I'll put a link down below and you'll be able to find it there. So real quick, I'm gonna go through and show you the little mini. This is a library pocket mini. It's five um, little library pockets that I've bound together. I also, I have these in my shop as well. So this first image is on the collage sheet. It's a sweet little bird carrying a little basket of roses. Then I have some trim. Um, it's just some, a braided trim. Um, what I've done is I've uh, dedicated a whole section of my shop. Um, it's the last section. It'll have all the goodies that I used to make this album. So if there's anything in here that you wanted to purchase or liked or whatever, um, you should be able to go to that link and then just pull through um, all those items. And it has the digis and the trims and all that stuff. But just trying to make it a little bit easier for you to find the stuff in my shop because there's I've got hundreds and hundreds of items and I know that can be frustrating so anyway so what you see in here you can get in the shop so I don't have to keep pointing it out okay again and then this is just a little um, lace piece with um, a little flower and then this is a little pull out tag love this image for some reason I'm gonna have to take a picture of the class sheet because I can't get it to um, go to JPEG so I can put it in my shop. So this might take a while, but you can just email me and tell me when I add it if I don't have it up. Um, really cute though. This is a, um, it's kind of hard to pick up on the camera, but it's kind of an olivey green and then just real pretty roses. So that's that. And then this page, I've made a pocket out of this little, um, mat this little frame it's like a little journal spot just glued it on the two sides and I stamped this back first I stamped off which all stamping off is is you ink up your stamp stamp it on some scrap paper and then stamp it onto your project and it just makes it lighter and then this is a separate little stamp and I just fussy cut one of my images and layered it on one of these little tags this image is on this week's featured digi. I just cut the bottom off of this because I wanted it to sit more in. I didn't want it to stand up so much. Just added some little um, ribbon. And then this is just a little bauble off of some broken vintage um, jewelry. And it's held on with one of my vintage garment pins. And then on this page, I love these. I am going to get these in my shop. I don't have them yet, but they're little mini dress forms. So cute. And I just glued those two sides to make a little pocket, put a little flower in there. This is another one of the images on the featured digi this week. And I just um, put that on one of the little tags. You can put journaling or pictures or whatever on the back. And then there's plenty of room for pictures here and there. So there's a ton. These aren't that big. I think I want to say they're like four and a half by three and a quarter or something. But you can put a lot in here. And these pockets hold a ton. So you can put a ton of pullouts or just even cut your pictures down to size and put them in there. Uh, this is this week's, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get to where you can see it. This is this week's um, free digital collage, collage sheet. It is just a really pretty frame. It just come. It's black and white, and I colored these with um, the Ink Tense pencils. I know I keep saying I'll do a tutorial on those, and I will. Um, really easy. You just slap them on there and use your little water pen and smooth it out. That looks really pretty. But it's very a very detailed little collage sheet. Great for journaling. And then just another little pull-out tag with one of my pink flowers. And 
Then another cute little, this is a little ice skate boot. Really pretty, kind of steampunky. I like it. And then this is just a little bird bath, and I did the same thing with the um, pe colored pencils. Colored that in a little bit. It's just a black and white image. Um, this I this is a collage sheet that I have. And then this, I am in love with this. This is a little red iron sta um, stamp. It's the stamp set. It's got these corners, just really cool looking stamps. I think I have maybe eight of these available and those will be in the shop but I just love that it's so pretty and then here's just a little metal piece and one of my cream flowers and again room to put a picture back there and then this one this is just one of my mats Here, let me take this out so you can see so it's just one of my mats I just fold at the edge of it glued that edge down underneath this mat and made this little this little flap so that gives you extra room here and here and then this is that stamp I stamped it on a separate piece of design paper and um, just fussy cut it and made a pocket out of it and these are also collage sheets both of these they're a nice shop not that cute and then this is a class sheet that I have, and then just a little tag. I just love how that turned out. It's one of my favorite pages. And then this is also stamped, and then some little punches, and I just put some little pearls on there. And then these pull out. Love this one. It's that um, same frame that is this week's freebie, but it has this already put in it. So this is just one, it's not pasted or anything, it's just one class sheet. Great little journal spot. And then just one of my small Victorian mats that I embossed. And just another pull out, and I, <laughs> that's my phone, sorry. Um, another Victorian mat, here is this corner stamped there room for journaling and this is just a little um, chipboard piece that I inked up with distress ink and just glued the two sides to create a pocket and a little metal piece that I just added a flower to. I think I got these on clearance at Michael's. Well, I have this up here. There's just a little piece of um, design paper and that trim that I use a lot. You guys are probably sick of seeing it but I love it. It's just delicate and I do like the lace but sometimes the lace looks too frilly frilly frou-frou not to get me wrong I do like it and I do use it but sometimes I like it just looks a little bit cleaner uh, a little metal embellishment with another flower on there and oh, I guess I forgot to to spread out my tags and put a tag in there okay so anyway this is a pocket so more tags can go in there too And then these two pages, this is my favorite. But So this is one of my small fancy mats. It's just fold it in half and then fold it down to create this little pocket. And then I only glued it on the bottom and the side, so this is a little pocket too. That's a little image. I think this one, this is from a different featured claw shape. And then another boot, and this one is brown. I'm just backed with a tag. And I did a little stamping because that part sticks out. I want it to be a little bit fancier. And then this one is a little pocket. Um, I will have those in the shop. I don't have them in there right now. But this is just a little one of a uh, little old wallpaper digi that I have in the shop. Cut down and inked. Another image from um, a different featured class sheet. The flowers, some plastic trim, a little. This had like a little fake brown rhinestone on it, and I just took it off and put the little half curl. I just wanted a different look. And then, sorry, let me put this down. This, I love these. I had these in a couple different designs. A little um, 
another little journal spot. Just got the little the line so you can journal on it. Throw a picture on the back. Um, whatever. Just thought those were fun. Another tag. Just some ribbon and seam binding. And then that's it. A real simple back for a picture or some journaling or whatever. But I love these little minis because you can use up your scraps. You know, these are all just little scrap papers that I use to as mats. Um, just a lot of fun. And like I said, they can really, you can pack a lot in them. And these are darling little um, gift albums. And they can sit up on the mantle or, or whatever. So that is that. I think that's all I have to show. Oh, one more thing. I think I end all of my videos the same way saying I think I'm done and then I always say oh but okay so this I just made this just for little grins all this is is a um I drink almond milk and it comes in the quartz so it's that I forget what they call it but it's like a coated paper but it's really thick just like a quart of milk or whatever anyway just cut that down cover it with paper put the trim on there and so just a real easy, inexpensive little way to um, store my scissors and all that kind of thing. So that's it. If you have any questions, um, always feel free to comment or to email me directly. Um, I'll put the links to my blog and to my shop below if you're interested in looking at those. If you're not on my list to get the free digital class sheet, which again this week is, let me find it this one. Um, hop over to my blog. There's directions at the very bottom of the post of how to get on that list. Basically all you do is you follow me, follow my blog, subscribe to the post, and then just email me to let me know you did that and I'll put that on there. And when I come out with a new freebie, I just email them to you. So that's it. Thanks so much you guys. Bye.